time for me and you to have a talk. Okay? And if you didn't know, hat's going backwards and it's bad boy time. Did he say bad boy time? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Guys, we're going against the grain on this one. I'm going to tell you in this video why you don't need to buy so many, and excuse my French, gosh dang freaking beard products. Back in the day when I first started this channel, there weren't too many companies around making beard oils and different things and innovating things, right? Now there's a ton. There's a ton. And you've probably been, been convinced by like me and other people that do YouTube just via us reviewing things that you need to just accumulate and accumulate and stack up and buy all these different things. I'm here to tell you that you don't. This video is sponsored. I'm always very straight up about that, but I'm also, I always tell you every time, the amount of companies that reach out to me that want to work with me, I get to turn down like 90% of them and work with the 10% that I do want to work with. But this video is sponsored by Beard Octane, and the good thing about them is they allow me to, for instance, make a video on telling you why you shouldn't buy beard products in a sponsored video from a beard company, which is cool. I feel like I need mouthwash. I can taste my, my breath. While I open this mouthwash, let's talk about the basics, right? What you really need for your beard. Um, for your beard, you don't need much. Really, you could do with just a beard wash and a beard oil. You don't wanna to get too crazy. You don't wanna throw some Old Spice body wash into a beard. That's not the best thing for it. There's so many things out there that make it convoluted, right? There's butters, there's balms, there's waxes, there's jellies, there's conditioners, there's heat brushes, there's combs, there's brushes, there's so many things, right? When in reality, we as men are in general simple people and we don't want to involve too many things in our daily routine. At least I don't. It's like this. Like who needs to brush your teeth when you have mouthwash? <laughs> it burns good. See, now I don't like, that's how simple I am. I don't have to brush my teeth for like four days now, which is great. What I'm trying to say is that simpler things are generally better in life. The less you have to remember to do, the easier it is to maintain it for a long time. There's a reason why simpler cars last longer than more complicated cars. Um, that's the reason why men live longer than women. I don't know. A beard wash and a beard oil can get you everything in life you ever need in your beard. There's no need to buy 20 different beard oils, 10 different beard oils, or even five different beard oils. You could live on one beard oil, maybe two beard oils if you needed. You could get a thinner beard oil for the summer and a heavier beard oil for the winter and that would do you just fine. And then a beard wash every once in a while. I'm a different situation. I use conditioner, I, can, I co-wash most of the time. I wash my beard with a beard wash like once or twice a week. The other days I'm co-washing. Today and yesterday I did them because I've been out for the past like four days. My beard look, been looking crazy. I've been out for four days working on an old, on old Toyota pickup and getting it running, getting it driving, and it's been days of days of just covered in grease and gunk and I'm, and I'm sure at least 1 64th of that gets in my beard. So I used beard wash yesterday and today. The beard wash I used was the lather conditioning wash from Beard Octane. So here's the thing, right? If you're gonna buy a beard wash and a beard oil, it needs to be a good one, right? You don't wanna buy a beard wash that's gonna harm your beard and you don't wanna buy a beard oil that has a bunch of junk in it that's actually gonna harm your beard as well. There are beard products out there like that. Old Spice makes a horrible, horrible, horrible beard product. You wouldn't be, you would be surprised by the amount of beard products that I've been pitched that have like bad ingredients in them. Let's look at the ingredients on the Beard Octane beard oil. Um, coconut oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, hazelnut oil, aloe extract, vitamin E, and then the scent, right? There's five key ingredients in here and then the rest is just scent stuff. Bergamot, this is, this is the uh, Grizzly Puncher by Beard Octane. Uh, it's Caleb Francis's uh, smell. Teakwood, uh, oak moss, bergamot amber, and a grizzly's roar. So there's five extra smell ingredients, but it's like one little scent thing. So as long as the beard oil doesn't have some, like rubbing alcohol or something in it, you'd, might, you'd be surprised. It's probably out there. Um, then you, you're pretty good. Now the Beard Octane beard oils are great. I have gone through almost this whole bottle of liquid gold. I don't know if you can see. There's barely any left in the bottom there. If I tip it upside down, you can see the level. There's not very much left. The Grizzly Puncher is on its way out as well. There's about, 
a third of that left. It's hard for me to go through a bottle of beard oil unless I really, really like it and want to keep using it. Most of the beard oils that I get, get tested for like a week and then I'll either say yes or no to the company. Um, a lot of times I say no. And so then the beard oil gets used like a tiny bit and then it gets thrown in a closet somewhere. And then when my friends come over and want beard oil, I just give them whatever they want. These ones that stick around on my beard shelf are really, really good beard oils with really, really good smells. And I like them a lot. And if I go through a bottle of a beard oil, in my opinion, it's really, really good. Another thing Beard Octane does great is this lather conditioning wash. This is a game changer when it comes to a beard wash. Like I said, you need two things maybe. You could argue for just one, like just using a beard oil, but a wash will help a lot. Um, so when you buy the wash, you don't wanna buy the wrong wash. So you wanna get a good wash. This is a lather conditioning wash. This is, it has conditioning properties and it has um, the, what do you call the things, surfactants or whatever are that go in and suds up and clean your beard out. It has both of those things. So if you've ever, used like some body wash or a regular, even a regular beard wash in your beard, you wash it out and you get out of the shower and you touch your beard and it feels like disgusting. Like you can't run your hands through it. Like even if it wasn't wet, like it's just like dry and icky and it's horrible. It's because beard washes strip everything out of your beard, right? And so this, it strips a lot out of your beard, but it also coats the hair with a conditioning thing that it has in it. Like for instance, shea butter in it, it has um, sunflower oil in it. It has things that are going to coat the hair as well. So it's cleaning, but then it coats it to where it doesn't feel all nasty when you get out of the shower. And I've never, and I've tested, and I've tested hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beard products. Never have I come across a beard wash that does what this does. Every other beard wash and every other wash I've used, you get out or you're done washing your beard and it feels like total crap. Like. It goes away once you get some beard oil in it and it sits for a while and soaks that in. But man, those things just murder your beard. Now this is a slippery slope. There's an argument to be made that you don't even need that stuff. You could just get a $5 bottle of castor oil at Walmart that's gonna last you all winter and you're good and you don't need to wash your beard. You can use hot water. Hot water gets out probably 90% of the stuff in your beard as it is. But living in the modern world, interacting with people, a great thing about like a beard oil from a company is they put a lot of time and effort into making them smell good. And so when you go up and you talk to a person and you have some nice beard oil in, your beard doesn't smell like my, my breath did seven minutes ago. It smells good. It smells presentable. It smells, dare I say, attractive. So if the conversation you're having is in regards to pursuing a relationship with somebody, then it couldn't do anything but help, right? And if your beard's looking a little scruffy and smelling a little weird, it might hurt your chances, right? On a more serious note, it does bug me on a deeper level that my channel is based around like, and I don't, and I try to tell people like in the videos when I review things, like you don't need to buy this. If you wanna buy it, I can tell you about it. But I try to tell people like, you don't need this, but if you want it, I'll tell you about it. And I feel like with all the reviews that I do, it like, I think people just buy things because I review it. Well, if I review it, it's good. Gen I mean, unless I say in the title, like, do not buy this. Um, if I review it, it's a good product. Uh, all the bad products, I just don't review them. I don't respond or I keep the product and don't use it and hate it and whatever. So I feel like I kind of contribute to the problem by putting out a lot of reviews on stuff. But I also try to be very clear about you don't need this stuff. For instance, this stuff. You don't need it. No, you don't need it. Will it help your beard? Yes, of course. Do you need that help for your beard? I don't know. You might not. But yeah, I sit at night and I, I hear all the things about the world events and the conflicts going on. And I'm like, but what about the people that are buying too many beard products? I can't, I'm kidding. I'm trying not to be too serious about it, but it is a problem. Like financially, it's not a great idea to buy a horde of things that you're going to use like half of each of one of them. It's not a good idea financially, but to each their own. If you wanna buy this stuff, um, I have an affiliate link. They're also doing a bunch of Black Friday deals. I asked them to like summarize them for me and they're like, it's too complicated, just go to the site and look at the list. So I'm like, if you want some uh, Beard Octane stuff, I recommend Liquid Gold. This is an oud smell, it's great. Um, the Grizzly Puncher is Caleb Francis's uh, collaboration with them. It smells great, it's like a woodsy cologne. To me, it's like a woodsy cologne type scent. Um, the liquid gold smells like oud, which I love. The lather conditioning wash, this one is neutral, this one is barbershop. Um, there's, so there's different scents of that. 
And so I have, an, I have an affiliate code with them. It gets you a discount. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. You don't have to use it if you don't, or you can use somebody else's affiliate. If you just YouTube Beard Octane Reviews and you find somebody that you like more than me, you won't. Uh, but if you do, you can just use their affiliate code and buy your products that way. It's not a huge affiliate commission or anything, but it is something, and it stacks on top of the Black Friday uh, deals, I believe. But I'm pretty sure it gives you a discount and you can stack it on top of the Black Friday stuff. So with that being said, thanks again, guys. Thanks for coming and watching me talk to a camera. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.